All right, miss. Hey, pal. Over here. Durr. This dude looks like Felix. Um, is this your dad? Hey there. You're looking to unwind, friend? Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time? Maybe you're interested in something a little better than beer or adreno? Something with a little more kick? What are you selling? The name's Auric. I deal in, shall we say, holistic pharmaceuticals, natural substances and the like. You know, alternative stuff. Are you referring to drugs? I know. I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it. I do. Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? Says it right on the Anticleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture? Not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to believe. Uh... Yeah, I noticed as much. Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails you, I got what you need. This dude literally has the smile scar from Joker. So let's see here. So what kind of alternatives exactly do you sell? What do I sell? I've got premium shit, my friend. Vitamins like you wouldn't believe. Calcium, vitamin D, reverse vitamin D. I got everything, my friend. What the hell's reverse you vitamin D? Problems? I got stress solutions. Aromatherapy eases the mind. Diluted mantisaur essence. Best kept secret in the business. And if you're a real freak, techniques to calm yourself by fooling your own mind. If they can tame the rage of a certain well-known toss ball star, they can help anybody. I think I've met this all-star or a well-known toss ball star. So speaking of which, I'd like to talk to you about him, uh, Mr. Bernie Holcomb. Bernie Holcomb. Wait. You ain't a sheriff, right? You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. I mean, I'm not a sheriff, per se. I'm just a man looking for answers, bro. I'll be honest. I don't really know where that puts us. I'm not here to bring you any trouble. I just want to talk. Alright, alright, fine. Yeah, I know, Birdie. So what? Uh, heard you taught Bernie, uh, Birdie, I keep wanting to call him, I keep wanting to call him Bernie, but it's Birdie, like a bird, kind of, but, it, okay, whatever, anyways, I heard you taught him some breathing techniques. Yeah, that was me. Birdie's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you know? He's trying to work on it. Okay. So, was Birdie with you the night? Actually, that's a little too much. How do you know him? He may or may not buy alternatives from me from time to time. A little diluted mantis or essence here, a little vitamin B negative there. What is B negative? I don't know. I'm just, I'm... Is that a real thing or is that just in game? I don't know. So... So he has a substance problem? Nah. What Birdie's got is a stress problem. He's stressed out of his mind, the poor guy. Everyone knows his name can't turn around without having to sign an autograph. Then you throw in playing tossed ball for a living. Violence like that, it does things to a body. It does things to the head. Good to know. Good to know. Doesn't really tell me much, though, but besides the fact that he has a temper problem and a stress problem. So this guy has... So Birdie, he seems pretty complicated as an individual. But I don't know. I still I don't I don't think he did it. Uh, what do you mean Tossball does things to your head? Come on. Birdie's a damn good hacker, but taking that many blows to the noggin would scramble anyone's upstairs business. I know it's knocked a few of his memories loose. I worry about him, that's all. He's a good kid. Got a good heart. <clears throat> good to know. So now for the big question there, bro, Mr. Oric West. A.K.A. Felix's dad. Was Birdie with you the night Halcyon Helen was killed? Yeah. Damn shame about that. Birdie thought the world of Helen, you know. I she noticed. He was drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. 
Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told him to drink more water and get some sleep. So the story was true. Now I definitely don't think Birdie did it. Unless this guy and Birdie were working together in this situation. But something tells me that this is... That Birdie's innocent. That he's just a broken man. So, that, I mean, I guess that's all for now. Report to... Administrator Ludovico. Should I report to him? Let's go report to him. How do I get out of here? Is it this way? Yeah, that's definitely not it. <laughs> okay, there we go. I wonder if all these cargo containers are stored here for any legitimate reason. Or just to give Sublight more opportunities for larceny. I vote B. But thank you for no noticing, I guess? Is there a constable here I could work for? There's no constable in here, period. I was hoping that I could have like a... Like an Edgewater situation. Ooh, what's this? Let's listen to it. Is that who I think it is? An aberration in the expected timeline for this organic being has occurred. Behold, the body of Maria Keen, oh. the constable of the Eridanos atmospheric complex. No signs of life detected. Maria Keen is oh my God. no known relatives. I actually liked her, dude. Man, that sucks. She was out of the three we initially met. She's the only one that I actually like the one that I didn't have any like I guess suspicions of because Ludovico and uh uh I can't remember what the other dude's name is the the slug dude both of them kind of gave me suspect vibes but she actually didn't this is horrible what killed her multiple puncture wounds detected along the frontal bone and between the clavicle Furthermore, the location and circumference of exit wounds suggest a firearm with unconventional ammunition. So she got shot. Just as suspected. This case is unsolvable. <laughs> this unit has detected a discrepancy in your reasoning. Inspector, a rudimentary analysis of the evidence points to a simple conclusion. Maria King was killed head-on by an attacker armed with an exotic weapon. The ammunition resembles a lancing needle. The description of this the weapon needler. is consistent with the needler, Halcyon Helen's signature weapon. This is not the first time we found a body killed by the the needler. Uh, we'll make a note. Uh, we'll find whoever did this and make them pay. Your memo has been noted. This unit has been programmed to offer encouragement during moments of emotional strain. Better protocol activated. We'll find this rat bastard's responsible, <laughs> Inspector. <laughs> That's horrible. I feel terrible. This unit would implore you to confess to your 
Is it really going to do this all over again? Terminal key card. You know what? My permit was fake after all. Uh, let me out of here. What is this? This is a uh, Mark Three. There was a thing right here that I want to inspect. What is this? Uh, Singularity Steel's sawed-off shotgun. Sawed-off, sawed-off shotgun. Why does it say it twice? I'm confused. Uh, this aggressively sawed-off shotgun is the signature weapon of Singularity Steel, renowned uh, space pirate, gun hand, and gardener. That's a pretty weird description, but okay, I'll take it. This weapon just as, uh, just as board disapproved as its wielder's serial is thankfully just a prop. Otherwise, attempting to fire it would have a 50-50% chance of, uh, re-aiming an entire room with buckshot or exploding in the user's hands. Honestly, that sounds, that sounds like I want to use it. <laughs> It really, really does, though. <clears throat> that sucks. So this is the terminal we got. Unauthorized use of this terminal is punishable by a monetary fine or indentured labor uh, in the Catalina kitchen. Internment logs. Oh, this is a lot of reading. I don't know if I want to read all of this, to be honest. Suspicion of smuggling. It, you know what? I don't. I don't want to read this. I'm probably going to read this off camera. I'm going to go through them, leave it on screen for a little while. And if you guys want to read them, feel free to push pause and read. I'm going to read them off camera. Uh, so there's that. There's that one. There's that one. Okay, security for footage archive. There's nothing here. Messages. Please enter your passcode, check diagnosis, record archives, <clears throat> okay, there's that one. Yeah, I'm definitely going to read those off camera. I don't really like reading on camera, uh, for one very, very obvious reason. Wait, who's this guy? This is that robot that was on the thing. Deputy Wine Taster? <laughs> The Sockles. Non criminally associated individual. The Rizzo's Constabulary is currently not closed due to a spread infestation. Bureaucratic processes are currently suspended. At present, criminal reports do not require paperwork. Please lament only in marked lamentation. Zones, please speak clearly into this unit's recording instruments. Uh, yeah, Constable Keen is dead. Understood. This unit requires a moment to process this information. Information processed. Personal designation upgraded to acting constable. Thank you. Law abiding. Consumer. Okay, that's <laughs> that is not good. Uh, so Keed was the latest uh, was the killer's latest victim. They could strike again. This unit concurs with your inference. Unapprehended killers are likely to continue killing. Uh, squint at it. Uh, was it you? Did you kill Keen? I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what this says, what he says for this. Uh, was it you? Did you kill Keen? This unit has been programmed to adhere to board law. This unit is incapable of experiencing murderous or unlawful impulses. Unless you were programmed to say that. Alright, well, thanks for the talk. This unit has been programmed to recommend a wine to pair with your brief. 
wash away your sorrows with a glass of highly concentrated, partially fermented purple berry, purple berry wine has a body richer than Byzantium's elite with an earthy aftertaste redolent of mostly oak. Purple berry wine coming soon from Rizzo's. <laughs> So, I'm not gonna lie, I, I drink a lot of wine, well not a lot of wine, but I drink wine, it's my, like, it's the drink that I like, the alcoholic drink I like, or whatever, and that purple berry wine makes me kind of want some wine. So, could we talk to, what's his name now? Appointment. I forgot his name. Yeah, Cedric. Can I speak to Cedric? Yeah, that's why you're here. Got it. We've already went through this. Uh. Hmm. Not entirely out of. You know. Right. Okay, I'm going to do a. I think it's saved already. So let's just go upstairs. You're not allowed up with no appointment. Um... Okay, let's let's double check just to make sure. I think we're good. Well now, this is unexpected. What's up, Cedric? I'm torn. I despise rudeness toward Eileen, who is entirely invaluable to Slug, and yet I do enjoy this bold, dare I say brash, approach you're taking. Now then, here for my alibi, I assume. Ah. Uh... I'm surprised there isn't an option to tell him about the about the constable. Okay, let me see here. Later, first I want an explanation for that nonsense outside. Absolutely. Another <clears throat> murder? Drunk raptidons? Black hole birdie practicing his hacking in the middle of the street? Uh, stop me if it's one of those, or I'll just keep guessing. Hmm. Both of these are the exact same thing, with the exception that slug agents is in quotations here. I don't think they were real slug agents because the note did say to put on some uniforms. So I'm going to say the ones in quotations. Sounds as though you've already sorted it out yourself. How did, uh, how did thugs get their hands on slug gear? Slug uniforms do seem to go missing from the hotel laundry with impressive regularity. Easy enough for someone to nick a few. Now ask yourself this. Why would anyone give thugs slug gear and send them after you? To... Actually, that's a good... That's a good line of reasoning to ask in route to the answer to the question. Because if you ask that question, it leads you to believe that... When you ask, then the one of the obvious answers to it, obviously it's not a confirmed answer, but the most logically sound answer is that someone sent them to pin the potential murder on Cedric. So that kind of, that kind, I mean, he's still, he's still a high suspect for me, but this kind of makes it a little lower. Because it feels like someone's trying to pin my death on Cedric. Let me see. Uh, what are my options? Clearly, whoever's behind this wants to pit me against Slug. Uh, that's another option. Absolutely. If I survive, then the only other alternative is for me to be against Sublight Salvage or Slug. This... This is also true that, okay. Uh, clearly whoever's behind this wants to put, uh, pit me against Slug. Right again, <clears throat> Inspector. But I can't fathom who would benefit from tarnishing my reputation like that. Can you? Honestly, Ludovico is... Ludovico, I think, is my prime suspect at this moment. I have no hard evidence. But a lot of really strong circumstantial evidence. And I really think 
I really think Ludovico. Presumably Ludovico more than anyone. Given your your work relationship. You said it, not me. So, as you've deduced, I did not send anyone from Slug after you, nor is it likely they assigned themselves that task. Still, I am sorry for the trouble, Inspector. With that settled, I assume you'll want to know where I was the night of Helen's murder. I I do actually, but I'm not going to answer with damn right I do because well, first of all, being aggressive is probably just going to put him in a defensive state. So, let's just say let's hear it. I do want to know where he's where he was at. Uh, but on top of what I just said about him being in a defensive state, I don't think being aggressive towards him would probably be optimal seeing as I'm starting to lean off of him a little bit as far as the suspect side goes. So yeah, let's hear it. Let's see. That night I was... Ah, torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing <laughs> cargo. That was a messy one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? He was torturing? And where would I find this Elliot Nasir to verify that? An excellent question. I had his body dropped off the edge of the land complex. That doesn't I'm help. I'm not sure what happened to it from there, scientifically speaking. Maybe it dissolved? Ultimately, though, it doesn't matter. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie, and I am, incriminatingly, people. He's also... truthful in a special way like uh, bad guys can lie and bad guys can be smart enough to hide the fact that they're lying by making it blatantly obvious that they could be lying such as what Cedric just did however those are too far and few in between that it's not it's not likely but probable so then how am I supposed to trust anything you say? So your alibi is that you were busy murdering someone else. Which, as I said, you should not trust. And he doesn't even deny it. However, you might consider pursuing not my means, but my motive. Why in the name of the architect would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. Good point. Hmm. So she was made. So her death is a net loss for Slug. I'm considering a line of commemorative merchandise. Still, that's nothing compared to what Helen would have made us in the long run. I'd offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve. I'm afraid. Like, anything I should look into? You may very well want to. This particular trouble strikes me as not unrelated to your investigation. Items are disappearing from Slug Storage and Processing Warehouse. Oh yeah, I it noticed. It began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and there have been more instances since. <laughs> before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. Got it. So what's gone missing, specifically? Nothing unsavory, and nothing Ludovico shouldn't know about, if that's your concern. I'm quite serious when I say Slug is a legitimate business. As to the specifics, I'm not sure. The warehouse foreman should be able to tell you. Before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. Why would he repeat that again? He literally just said that so that same line twice, which kind of, I, I don't think that's on purpose. I think that was either a bug or something slipped through cracks at Obsidian. But anyways, uh, so what's this connection? Uh, how is this connected to Helen's murder? I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm only confident there is one. That the theft began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is 
An extraordinary coincidence. No, I'm absolutely. Not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector? I do not trust it. I, I agree. It's too convenient that things started disappearing within a week before her death. I guess I can't guarantee the theft isn't related to the murder. Uh, yep. I certainly wouldn't take that bet. Regardless, this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads. Me, scheming in my office, preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is going to jail not to you? Huh. I'll say this once. Whoever's behind this is going to jail, not to you. You do recall, Inspector, that I'm not to be trusted? But certainly, whatever you say. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> if she won't cooperate, tell me, and I will shoot her. <laughs> and do feel free to search my office for clues <laughs> while you're here. Don't hold back on my account. <laughs> oh my god, that was that was such a good line. I love that so much. He's like, if if she doesn't cooperate, shoot her. No, I'm joking. Tell me and I'll shoot her. That was awesome. Alright. Let's let's see if there's any extra dialogue. Is there something else you wanted to discuss? Uh yeah, there we go. The constable is dead. Constable King? Now that is a damn shame. Am I right to think this wasn't a workplace accident? Well, you're right to assume that. This is murder, all right. It seems murder is becoming an unsettling trend on Eridanos as of late. Thank you for informing me of Constable Keen's passing. When you find her killer, please be certain to make them suffer. Did you know her well? Would it surprise you to hear that, despite being on opposite sides of the law, we were friends? That her loss comes as a sudden blow. Maria was a decent soul. And law knows those are in short supply around here. A little square, perhaps, <laughs> in her dedication to the rules, but good nonetheless. I'm also saddened to have lost an occasional drinking buddy. She was quite good at cards, you know. He strikes me as very genuine, although a little shady when it comes to the legal side, but genuine and honest. I, I genuinely do not believe it was Hedrick. I'm sorry, Constable Keen, uh, she d didn't deserve this, I agree. No, she didn't. But let's discuss something else. Do you have other matters requiring my attention? I think that's it, man. Why, why does Ludovico hate you so much? The original incident? Well, I made him an offer he should have refused. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was awesome. That was obviously a Godfather reference. Uh, but still, that's hilarious. Uh, and now he regrets doing business with you. An excellent deduction, Inspector. Our combative relationship stems from paperwork, mundanely enough. Rizzo's contracted sublet to construct the Eridanos atmospheric complex. Had Lou wanted Rizzo's to retain full control of Eridanos, he shouldn't have skimmed the revised contract I sent him. Lou's an administrator, for law's sake. I thought he would adore all the fine print I added. Uh... That can't be it. My power grab, as Lou called it, planted the seed of hatred. And Lou, obsessed with what should have been, has made sure to water it daily with his bitterness and anger. Yeah, okay. You should make peace with him. 
Alas, I can't. I am, first and foremost, the head of Slug, and it simply wouldn't be good for business. Slug's control of Eridanos is a crucial step in my long-term plans for Sublight. The board needs to see irrefutable proof we are a respectable, legitimate business. Why do you care so much about what the board thinks? Because one day soon, <clears throat> Sublight will obtain a seat on it. Meanwhile, our dear administrator is still laser-focused on old slights, which can be a nuisance. He's grown increasingly desperate to catch Slug with our hand in the proverbial cookie jar as of late, convinced we're involved in less than legal business opportunities. Which, of course, you definitely are. I wish I could wink, but it always <laughs> looks like I have something caught in my eye. Okay. Excuse me. That's a good talk. Hand cannon. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. A cursory fingerprint analysis shows this display case was recently opened or closed. Opened or closed? That gun on the bottom looks special. Has it been customized? Confirmed. <coughs> has been modified for a specific wielder, most likely the rifle's owner. Additionally, the plasma rifle sights appear to have been realigned to better accommodate a shooter with slight myopia in one eye. Analyze the fingerprints further. The fingerprints belong to Cedric Kincannon. Obviously. Oh, admiring my rifle. Had it custom fitted by a woman on Monarch. It does look pretty cool, but basic nonetheless. I'm curious about this. Duh, okay. Let's go ahead and save that. I want to see if I could swipe this thing. I don't think I'm going to be able to. I was definitely able to. I thought so. It's a unique. Definitely something good to have in my inventory. And good to know. Okay, let's get out of here. That was a great talk, man. Haha, <laughs> you didn't do anything. You didn't do anything. Yeah, that was an absolutely wonderful talk, man. I feel like I can deduce out of that conversation I feel like I could come to the, the to the conclusion that Cedric most likely isn't involved in the murder so I think I think my prime suspect to be 100% honest is Ludovico Ludovico is definitely my suspect I I just have this gut feeling, dude, and maybe it's my previous work in law enforcement, but... Oh, God. Get out of here. Oh, he's already dead. Oh, they took care of him. Look at him fly. Maybe get down. Die. <laughs> that was funny. This, is that thing called rum and something? It is. That was weird. Okay. I really feel like it's Ludovico, man. Well, I guess we should report our findings to him and see what he says. Hey, what's up, Bellhop Norville? Finally Anything new? In, I, see. I hope you're fond of the penthouse. It's pretty much the best seat in the whole hotel. You shouldn't want for any amenity you might find elsewhere. Should act as a better headquarters for the investigation than any space dust covered ship. That and you ain't got room service on a ship. You ever need anything, come find me. Even if you don't, you can still swing by. I'm always happy to chat. 
Um. Uh... Oh my God, Lord Bellhop. What? Oh, Claus, you didn't. Yes, I story, read it. Did you? I read it. Sakes alive, that's embarrassing as all hell. I guess I should have hit it better. Well, <laughs> since there's no way to put the leather boa back in the skinning machine, I might as well ask. What did you think? Uh. It was entertaining. <laughs> and my old man said I'd never amount to anything. Move over, board announcement writer 256. Norville's coming <laughs> for your job. Now, what can I lend a hand with? Did you know the victim? Oh, of course. That is, uh, maybe not on a personal level, but I'm one of her biggest fans. Even started an association of like-minded individuals. I'd lament not having anything to meet about anymore, but the newer tribe just ain't done it for us. Still, there goes my hopes of a Terra on Monarch reunion episode. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. I kind of wish the Terror on Monarch was a real show, because I kind of, like, as much as I hear about it in the game, and the posters and all that stuff, even the loading screen, the Terror on Monarch, makes me want to watch Terror on Monarch. There are other celebrities, right? Sorry, friend, but I guess you don't get it. Helen was special, had a certain quality about her, like she would really go out and fight injustice. You look at Woolrich, and no disrespect to the man, but... You just don't get the same feeling. He reminds me more of a vacuum suit without nobody in it. Uh, don't tell him I said that. I won't. So how'd you get to be a bellhop? Notice my battle-hardened physique, have you? <laughs> Used to be in a mighty mean line of work. Been shot at 35 times. <clears throat> that is, um... I've been near people who were shot at 35 times. Okay, good to know. But to be honest, I never really enjoyed it, you know. It's one thing to tightrope walk between life and death every day, but for just a handful of bits? Nah. When this position came up, I jumped on it and made a lateral move from sublight to slug. I ain't ever looked back. So I thought slug and sublight didn't engage much. How'd you move from one to the other? Hmm, well, slug is something like an offshoot of sublight. It ain't too difficult to pivot from one part of the same company to another. Disconnects or no. That said, my departure may have been somewhat hasty. Man, I wish I had 65 sneak. You made it sound like you had a choice. Well, it was. Technically, basically, I singled out a ship to salvage that I thought had been out for use for years. As it turns out, it belonged to a wealthy Byzantine who used it only to vacation. Got it. As it so happened, I still don't think she tried to use it, too satisfied with the luxuries of Byzantium. Still, I figured it was a good time to turn tail, in case that ever changed. How different is it working for Slug than, uh, than Sublight? Well, Slug is more trustworthy for one thing, where Sublight is all about back alleys and backstabbing. Slug can be trusted not to salvage your ship when you turn your head. Uh, I don't know about that. Slug is just as bad, I think. Any good stories? Stories? Huh. Actually, I think I got a couple now that you mention it. Execs from a post corpse used to visit the hotel simultaneously. After assassination number 40, we enacted a rule. No exec visitation without signing a non-aggression contract. Oh. Interesting? Yeah. Uh, mind if I ask you some uh, questions uh, about the crime scene? Please do. So you want to tell me a little bit more about how you came across the body? Sure, I'd taken a check in the barroom every few hours prior to the unveiling. Just to make sure no sprats had snuck into the place. You understand? 
Found her right before I was set to head back to my room in the lower levels for my mandated five hour sleep period. Tell ya, thank the law for caffeinoid. Been too upset to get a wink of sleep since. And hey, now I can finally see smells. <clears throat> Did he say a five hour mandated sleep? So, I mean, five hours isn't enough in my opinion. Uh, but at least they're allowing them, not just allowing them, but kind of forcing them to like get some rest. Should that's kind of good, right? Even though five hours isn't enough, but whatever. Did you kill Helen? You can tell me if you did. It'll be our secret. I'm not going to say that. I really don't think this guy's a suspect at all. Uh, any idea why Helen would have been in the ballroom after hours? Beats all hell out of me. Maybe she was, uh, practicing for the unveiling? Okay, good to know. Sure. What's on your mind? Honestly, nothing. Actually, this. Uh, got an idea who might, uh, have wanted to do Helen in? Everyone's got theories. I don't reckon mine hold much more weight than anyone else's. But... I want to know what yours is, though. Did you see her on her death? Of course on the day I she did. Died? I just told you I found the body. That's not what I mean. Oh, wait. Uh, you mean when she was still breathing? Yes. Um, uh, no, no, of course I didn't. Plus, it's untoward for an employee to speculate about the actions of a hotel guest. Not that I saw any hotel guests interacting with her. <clears throat> I wish I had 65 uh, Intimidate. Sorry, Inspector, they don't pay me to think. Okay, later. Good talk. What floor would you like to visit? Take me to the penthouse. Next stop, the finest seat in the house. Okay. Ludovico? That was, that was an accident. Inspector, I've just received word that Constable Keen is dead. Please, tell me it isn't true. Uh, yeah, she was murdered in her office. Halcyon Helen, Leora Blossom, Maria Keene. There's a murderer on the loose, Inspector. You must stop them. I don't have Maria to count on anymore, so I'm counting on you. Whoever murdered her used the needler. The Needler was among <laughs> Helen's belongings. Whoever stole it must have been able to slip in and out of the hotel. Maria was my sole representative in Cedric's territory. The entire hotel staff is on his payroll. Any one of them could have killed her on his behalf. Hmm. That's interesting that he said that Maria was... His sole representative in Cedric's territory. This actually kind of, in in a way, kind of elevates my suspicion towards Ludovico. He's got motive to get rid of Cedric and Maria. Well, everyone, really. Was she important to you? Maria devoted her entire life to our vision. She was absolutely committed to our company, to our project. I promised myself I'd reward her after we launched Spectrum Brown. I'd make sure she was comfortable for the rest of her life. She was also our voice of reason. She was sensible, and I appreciated her advice. I never got to tell her that. Okay, let's change the subject. What can I do for you? Uh, I managed to drag down Black Hole Birdie. I'm pleased to hear that. Bertie Holcomb is a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Rangers property. When Helen was murdered, Bertie was nowhere to be found. The timing of his disappearance is unfortunate. Uh... Yeah, this is 100% what my line of thinking is right now. He's definitely moody, and he's got a, a, a temper problem. But 
I don't think he would ever harm, especially, especially Helen, considering his feelings towards her. Yeah, let's go with this. Birdie's something of a character, but he's harmless. I kind of feel a little bad for him. Try not to feel too bad for him. Birdie is a brilliant athlete. The universe has balanced his talent by making him a slack wit. Go easy on him. He just loved the, lo the lost the love of his life. I don't understand what it was that Helen saw in Birdie. Whatever it was, she seemed to trust him implicitly. He was always on his best behavior around her. Or he tried. I'm not a heartless man, Inspector. I know that losing Helen must have shaken Birdie to his core. Be plain with me, Inspector. Do you believe Black Old Birdie killed Helen? I, I don't. I, I hate that I'm going to say this, but I am doing this dumb dialogue thing. Otherwise, I would say I really don't. But who cares? He's the perfect space goat. Do you mean scapegoat? <laughs> Inspector, you're not here to help me find a convenient space go scapegoat. I meant scapegoat. Oh, for law's sake, now you've got me saying it. Just do what you were hired to do and find the killer. Yeah. <laughs> He's the perfect. <laughs> He's the perfect space goat. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I love this game. <clears throat> Let me see. By the way, Birdie agreed to stay at the ground colonial. I appreciate that. I'd rather keep Birdie within the public eye than let him languish in a bar at the docks. I'll make my report of your investigation into Birdie. Do you have anything else for me? No. <laughs> Space goat. Uh, Lord of Blight. The man who chafed. Let's. We've had this mission for a while. Let's go ahead and do the profit of profitability. The interesting thing about all this is that every mission that we've gotten. We're all main quests. I don't think we've gotten any side quests or anything. Which is pretty interesting to say the least. Let's see, you'll need to find and interrogate the Prophet of Profitability regarding her involvement with Halcyon Helen's murder. The Prophet... Ugh. The Prophet runs her seminar retreats out of an extreme productive... Uh, out of an extreme productivity camp deep in the Wilderness Exploration Reserve. Okay, let's read the top part real quick. Uh, you've learned that Halcyon Hells disappear, uh, disparaged the profit of profitability's uh, work seminars, harming her image and casting her bits. Costing her bits. Investigate uh, whether or not this would have motivated the profit to kill Helen. Well, the description definitely speaks of motive. But, uh, I'm not sure. Obviously, we need to get down to the bottom of this. I think we could say, as of now, I think we could safely, uh, or at least to an extent. We don't know for sure. Again, we we don't have any hard evidence, just strong circumstantial evidence. But with what information we've gotten so far, I think we can deduce that Cedric isn't a prime suspect, just a... Just a person of interest, I would say. Uh, the same thing with Birdie. He's a person of interest, but probably wouldn't classify him as a suspect. Uh, he just doesn't have the motive, in my opinion. But, on the other hand... Ludovico seems very shady. There's a lot of things surrounding him. Like, he's got motive... Particularly around Cedric himself. Uh, and he just seems a little off. The thing is that I don't understand is I, I think he's the one that hired us. So that he must be very, if it is him, he must be very confident at the fact that he murdered her. But obviously right now it's just speculation. So we need some more information to figure that out. So let's go ahead and... Where is this at anyways the 
Let's look at the region map. Okay, we're going to the biggest area of the map so far. The northern area. So that's that place. Where's this one at? Whoops. This one's right around us. So quest. What about Lord of Blight? That's back at the ship. Lord of Blight. Where does this take me? So this is... Back at Groundbreaker, if it's at Sublight Freight Storage and Processing. Okay, I think... I think I want to do this before we head off... Planet. So I'm probably going to do this... Then this one. Dr. Goodnight, obviously, she's the doctor in charge of the autopsy for Halcyon Helen. Alright, so for now, let's go ahead and go. Mm -hmm.